Anime Showdown. Where do I even start? Now, I could talk about this game for hours, but y'all got TikTok attention spans, so I'm gonna keep it short. Well, I'm gonna try to. Although the developers never claim this themselves, before the game's release, the Roblox community decided to coin this game as the ABA killer. Quick side note, uh, ABA is never dying, so please get that idea out of your head. Okay, anyways, uh, despite being the quote unquote ABA killer, why did the game only average 400 players after a couple months of paid access? And why is the game currently struggling to average over a thousand players even though it's only been one month since re-release? Now don't get me wrong, by no means am I trying to like hate on the game or any of the developers in this video, and this probably isn't a surprise to you but Anime Showdown is, without a doubt, one of my favorite games on the platform. Like, this video is, is basically just me explaining why it seems like the game is constantly struggling. Because I'm gonna be honest right now, like, the game is good. The reason why the game is struggling, it has nothing to do with the actual gameplay. It, it's a whole lot of other things. All right, when Anime Showdown first released back in January of last year, the hype was insane. Like so many people uh, knew about this game and were basically like excited for it to come out, right? But in hindsight, this was probably one of the worst things that could have happened for the game. Like it's very rare for a game to maintain huge amounts of success, especially if they're hyped up to oblivion, like before the game is even out, right? And this is where we get to the 0.5 incident, right? And it all stems from one thing, impatience now before the game even dropped the devs dropped a poll basically asking do you want the game to drop now and we'll drop two more characters later or do you want to delay the game and drop the game when those two characters are done and obviously you know what people voted for they wanted to play the game now because you know they've already been waiting but making this poll already fucked things up for the game because now it adds extra stress to the devs and they're pretty much like oh we have to drop the game soon or else people are going to be upset and it ends up leading to the developers dropping basically half updates right updates where characters drop and it's only maybe one character and the character's not even finished right for example when they dropped the hit update that was basically the only thing in the update and on top of that hit wasn't even finished and that's the main reason why the player count fell off during pay access because people didn't want to play a game that was going to update every month and only add one character when they could just go to another game like ABA and play with a hundred different characters. But obviously this isn't just the devs fault, it's also the community because if the if the community isn't sitting there pressuring the developers to you know drop updates and stuff like that then obviously the developers aren't going to stress about deadlines and they're probably going to take more time to make their updates you know better. And because the updates were clearly rushed, what happens a month after the hit update? Update. The game shuts down. Now, the reason why Anime Showdown shut down was so that they could polish the game and add more characters and obviously the community would be upset about this at first but over time they would realize that this was the smart thing to do because now the developers are fixing all the things that the community was complaining about as well as adding more characters and basically making a better game without having to worry about deadlines. And then eight months later, the game re-releases. But what was going on during those eight months of shutdown? Them boys was on Cameron's ass. If you don't know, Cameron's one of the owners of Anime Showdown and he's the main scripter. But you're also probably wondering why would everybody be on his ass, right? The, the reason why everybody was on Cameron's ass and not, you know, the rest of the dev team is literally because he's the only dev that talks to the community. Or he was but I'll get into that later. And when you're the only person that talks to people, if something goes wrong, you're the only person that they're gonna blame. And Cameron is toxic as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. So this ends up painting him as the bad guy. Okay, before I say anything, rule number one, never trust what a Roblox developer says if they're talking about release date, because chances are the game will get delayed. And long story short, a lot of release times or estimates were being thrown out and every time they were false. So people would get mad and they would blame Cameron because he's the only dev that people know. And obviously this is not a good thing. Now there's obviously a difference between criticism and just like talking shit, right? And when your Discord has over 200,000 people in it constantly asking for a release date and, you know, getting mad at you when something in the game doesn't work even though it's not your fault, obviously it's gonna get to your head. And then this ended up leading to an incident where Cameron just said, fuck it and stop talking to niggas. He has not talked in that Discord since like the 3rd of January. 
So Anime Showdown to re-release was on December 8th. And the day I'm recording this is January 16th. Now, the last time the game got a proper update was December 16th. So it's been a month since there's been any balance changes, skin updates, or any of that. And it doesn't help that the devs don't want to talk to anyone. And it also doesn't help that the community wants to harass the only developer that wants to talk, right? So when you put together an impatient, toxic community with non-responsive devs, obviously it's not going to work out, right? And the game is going to lose players because nobody knows what's going on right now. Obviously, when the JJK update drops, people are going to come back to the game. But at this point, I feel like most of the damage has already been done. But who knows, man? And maybe the game will have a miraculous comeback and maybe it might have as much longevity as ABA down the line or the game's gonna fall off everybody's gonna leave and people are gonna move on but like I said we'll never know but anyways that's the end of the video uh, a lot of the shit I said in here was like off the dome like I didn't have a script for this I was I'm literally just talking but yeah uh, if you like the video subscribe or something like that I don't know and uh, I'll see y'all later